Hello everyone, let's talk about SVM. SVM stands for Support Vector Machine. SVM is one of the machine learning classifier. Here is the simple example of the apple and the orange classifier. I draw a red line here which we call decision boundary. You can see the upper side is orange area and the downside is apple area. How about this decision boundary? It also works and it perfectly classified apple and the orange train data. But is this decision boundary better than the previous one? Let's test with the new data. With the previous decision boundary, you can see the test data well classified. However, with this tight decision boundary, the test data is misclassified. This is because the test data is very close to the decision boundary and the nearest data. We call the distance between the decision boundary and the nearest data as margin. Normally, bigger margin gives you better prediction on unseen data, just like our previous example. And we call the nearest data as support vector. Importantly, SVM only uses support vector when it makes prediction. That is huge advantage having much less computation. So far, what I covered is linear SVM. What if the data is not linearly separable, just like this example, having the data like this in one dimensional space? Decision boundary will be just a dot, since it is one dimension, and there is no way to classify apple and orange perfectly. Well then, let's think differently. What about moving this one dimensional data into two dimensional space using y is equal to x square? Then you will have this data distribution. And now the data is linearly separable. We call this function as mapping function. Unfortunately, the mapping function to the high, high dimensional requires the high computation. But there is kernel trick which takes much less computation but have same effect like mapping function. Before you practice, remember there are normally two parameters you must decide for SVM classifier. First is cost. If you set cost with small value, you will have larger margin even if your decision boundary misclassifies some data like this. Conversely, when you set cost with high value, you will have narrow margin but having less train error. This is the visualization. Upper one has cost 0.01, down one has cost as 1. Upper one, we can see naive decision boundary. Conversely, we can see more complex decision boundary from the below one. If you use RBF kernel SVM, the second parameter you must decide is gamma. The gamma parameter defines how far the influence of a single train data reaches. For example, low gamma reaches further like most left example, and the high gamma reaches very little like most right example here. Last but not least, rather than choosing cost and gamma randomly or manually, you can use grid search to find optimal cost and the gamma. Grid search is nothing but the systemically find best match parameters using train data. If you use scikit-learn, grid search and find optimal cost and gamma is just a few lines of code.